Hi there, Casey and Jen here with another Fusion video. Today we're going to be talking about the teacher-client conversation and you've heard Jen and I talk so much about this and this key fundamental of teaching is so important to be effective and speak to your clients and really help them to become aware and change their bodies. Now there's so many different types of cueing style but what we have found is that there are so many times where people have these big generic cues, a cue that you would tell to anyone coming in the door. But especially with your private clients, you really want to speak to what's happening in their body and really have them engaged in this constant conversation with the equipment and with you. So the idea of a call and response is really, really powerful. So it's this, it's this conversation between me as the teacher seeing what's happening in Jen's body today, asking her to change a little bit of it, and then seeing how her mind and her body is digesting that information and then going back with more cueing. So we're gonna show this with a simple leg slide. So I'm gonna have Jen pick up her right foot. We just have this nice little perfect slidey towel that I have underneath, so a little bit easier to slide on the Cadillac. And when you're doing leg slides, it's definitely easier to do it on the vinyl or a hardwood floor rather than a sticky mat, because the foot can kind of stop and start and doesn't make for a very fluid movement. So Jen, I'm just gonna have you take some deep inhales and exhales just to find the back of the pelvis, back of the solar plexus, and back of the head on the posture pillow. Good. And when you're ready on your next exhale, I want you to go ahead and just lengthen the leg out, keeping the foot nice and heavy. Nice. So for me as a teacher, and Jen, I'm just gonna have you keep going. I'm gonna let her do this a few times in front of me without a whole bunch of cueing. You know, I gave her the basics, let's find the pelvis heavy, that T8 connection heavy, the head heavy, but I'm just looking at how her body is doing this exercise. And it's important to look closely, but then to also step away and see the body kind of at this back far away glance. Mm -hmm. Now another powerful tool is to go behind the client, especially when we have this beautiful framework of the Cadillac. Now the Cadillac has these uprights and I can watch her body in comparison to the uprights. So what I'm seeing is Jen's doing a beautiful stabilization of her pelvis, but I'm seeing gripping tension right through her pecs. So Jen, go ahead and bring the leg back. Mm -hmm. She's already started to correct the pecs. So here I want you to take a big inhale and on the exhale I want to see can you roll your collarbones like they're tumbling back towards your ears. Look at the length that she just got in her neck and her torso. Beautiful. Now as the leg goes away on the exhale I want the collarbones to go ahead and roll towards your ears. So we're cueing opposition and movement. That's a much different exercise for Jen to be able to have that idea of contrast. Good. And the same thing on the way back, keep those collarbones rolling. Now she's using much more of her abdominals, less propping and gripping through the pecs, right? And the only way that you're going to be able to pick up these fine cues for your clients is if you are just as aware, if not more so, of what's going on in their body as they are. We're here to facilitate, you can go ahead and rest, that process of fine tuning. You really have to be present with your clients. You can't be sitting there thinking about the next exercise that's gonna come after, or even the next client after, or dinner after you're done teaching. You have to be right here, right now, so that you can speak directly to what they need. And those tiny little cues, that thing that just keeps ticking out at you, can be that, that catalyst for change in the body, even if it's the smallest little movement. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for joining us today, and we'll see you soon.